Okay, right, so the so score I needs will... to be updated. Okay. Very nice win for Arian there. Uh, with the black pieces, very good start. A very cool game. So I think we'll see a lot of action uh, in this in this matchup. Just gonna do this. Look at these handsome guys. Look at the handsome guys, yeah. Thinking like crazy. And now we have an, an offbeat Clovis Sicilian. Uh, the uh, Grand Prix uh, from uh, Arian. Very uh, cool move here from Jasper F5. Do you like to watch this from from Jesper's side, or? Uh... Oh, we could we could mix it up. Of course, <laughs> we could uh, we could do a couple of moves from from Jesper. Jesper always plays very very cool chess, though, so uh, it's not a, a five. problem. So I I've only seen the moves like D six and then B five maybe maybe even D five, but uh, you you could struggle here after a knight takes. Oh, Actually, okay. so I guess you want to break up with D six. F five, just take this E four square. Cool move, and Arian is, is thinking. White does not want to take because then suddenly black gets a very good central, yeah, very good central control. Yeah, I guess yeah. And now black uh, did manage to to free up his pieces in the center, but now Arian wants to to take some space on the queen side and maybe play b3, bishop a3, which looks like a a pretty dangerous plan for for black because uh, the king is still stuck in the center. He needs to watch. Uh, needs to watch his uh, king and Jesper, of course, in um, ahead on the clock in this game. But he lost on time and uh, in, in the first game. Of course, his position was uh, was dead last when he lost on time. But uh, I guess the uh, um, the clock uh, played a big role. I think in the end game there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. It was uh, it got quite tricky. Very tricky. Very sharp stuff. So I recommend uh, watching uh, or at least uh, replaying that first game. Yeah. Afterwards, that was a very. We cool will game. Uh, we will upload this to uh, to YouTube afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, if you miss the first game, you will uh, get a chance to watch it there. Um, Queen D seven from from Jesper and now. What's what's white supposed to do? What what's the plan for white here? This f five pawn is super annoying because now the, the typical plan of improving the knight is. It's not, uh, it's not possible. You could go for something like this, of course, and play yeah. for the e5 square. That seems very reasonable. Looks very, very nice. Uh, that's a typical question in these positions. The bishops are often good in the Grand Prix, but this knight is often pretty bad. Is b5 possible here? b5 might be possible, yeah. Like, take... You could take this first, though. And yeah, then take right. b5, yeah. So th that's now. what he's preparing, rook yeah, e8, rook right? Yeah, preparing b5, a5 ruling out b5. So prophylaxis all the way from, from these uh, players in this stage of the game. Knight mm, d5, so knight d5 is probably knight c6, yeah. one of those, I guess. I guess knight d5 to, to, to block this bishop and then try to, to get this to c6. Yeah, because that's black's big issue. It's the it's the bishop. Yeah, still development, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but if okay, he knight c6, if he were to this. get his bishop to in the diagonal uh, on h1 to a8, then, this then black the would do would do really well. Yeah, I guess so. Knight d5 and get the bishop on the long diagonal was one plan, and knight c6 pressuring this and then preparing e5 was the other. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see now. Yes, but behind on the clock again. Not yeah, a good but but for is, him. is e5 something you want to do? Because it frees up at least a knight for white, yeah? It does, yeah, into d5, but then again, you could get your own knight to a3. e3, yeah. But of course, you have to watch this pawn on d4. So if e5, f takes, knight takes, then bishop d4 yeah. is just winning for white. So, uh, so e5 doesn't look uh, super tempting, uh, at least not yet. Maybe something like queen d8 first to prepare it, but uh, I'm not sure what, what you achieve with this move. Queen c7 instead. Okay. Okay. Threatens on a5, but still then there's no... So maybe b4 now? Yeah, but, queen but d4 is hanging in that line if you take on a5, so I'm not sure if it's no. something the black wants to do. It should be 6 alright. Just... Securing this pawn, improving the bishop, bringing the queen uh, out, and probably now preparing to meet this e5 break. But as we can see, there are no easy plans for white here. Maybe this is, is another, yeah, right. Arian improves his knight. And now e5 must be played. At least that's my opinion, because now this pawn is pretty safe. e5 now, yeah. Knight f3 immediately from Arian. 
again trying to exploit that, uh, that this d4 pawn might become uh, weak after a subsequent e4, d e4. Yes, but now 30 seconds, 40 seconds behind on the clock. Not a good omen for him as in the first game. He is uh, under pressure um, on, on the clock. So we'll see how he responds here after knight g1, knight f3 from Marianne was, was a, a cool maneuver. But I'm not sure this is... Uh, it's not, it's not gonna say uh, winning for white if we consult with the computer, but I think white has a pretty good advantage here. H6 from Jasper, not a sign of, uh, well, that doesn't look good to me. Fe5 now, and then bishop takes d4. Bishop d4, and now remember queen takes h6 is also a move if the knight moves. So uh, this is, uh, I think, lost for, for black. Step out. I think this was was the plan. Yeah, so it's a pawn down now. Yeah. Uh, so last is probably uh, exaggerating, but uh, this is definitely very good for white. So a very cool tactic from Marianne. If knight to c4, then uh, queen h6 would be mate in uh, in two moves. Just gonna try something because we're having a bit of an issue with the. Yes, but down to 20 seconds, approximately 21 seconds. Arjan can uh, can take his time here to find the uh, most appropriate solution. He exchanges pieces on e5. We'll bring his rook into the center now. Rook a e1 looks like a reasonable move. And okay, h3. Creating some luft for his king. Double rooks from Jasper needs to be met with rook e1. Unless rook e2 is to, to be allowed. That looks uh, unpleasant, so... Okay, so bishop c6, and uh, there's some compensation for black here. It's still a pawn down though. Uh, queen takes e5 now, probably. d4. Can be met by queen g3, and again we have some counterplay for black. Queen g3 now for, for, for Jasper. Looks reasonable this. Um, I don't think Argan handled this in the most appropriate way, but uh, we'll see how Jasper responds now. Queen g3 can be met by d5. So rook d8 played by Jasper in serious time trouble now. Seven seconds left against Arians 28. Retreating with the queen. This doesn't look good for, for Jasper, who's at least managed to put up some blockade. But with the queen, that's that's not optimal. Queen d4 centralizing the queen. Beautiful coordination for, for white. Queen b6 is a move. King, yeah, this king is, g1. This is probably lost for, yeah. for queen black. Queen b6 played. d6. d6 now. Ah, then there's queen e1, queen g1. Mm, yeah. yeah. This looks just uh, a complete win for white. Yeah, because... Mm, bishop right. b8, bishop b6, and then uh, the black can resign. It will be... Thank you.